Okay, hi. So we're gonna do something a little different today, which is we're gonna pick some of our favorite field gear and uh, do a mini review of it. And uh, I'm starting with the F-Stop Loca backpack. And the reason for that is that I'm planning a field trip to Arizona uh, to collect jumping spiders, which are the animals that I work with, that I do my research on. Uh, and uh, they do live in these uh, dry environments in the uh, American Southwest. And uh, I'll be taking uh, camera gear to shoot these animals, uh, to document the environments that they live in, and also to do a mini documentary on, on our fieldwork that I'm working on for some other project. Uh, so basically I'll be taking two camera bodies because uh, then I don't have to swap lenses as much, which is a bit dangerous when in, in a dusty environment like that. So you don't want dust particles to get into your camera and uh, get on the sensor and so on. Uh, and then we won't be too far from civilization most of the time, but uh, we will be hiking out into the field and then stay out for two to three days at a time and just camp out in the open. Which means, um, in addition to camera gear, they'll have to, uh, I'll have to take some uh, camping gear and a lot of water and also, uh, well yeah, uh, I need a field spectrophotometer, which is this big, uh, heavy, but also fragile brick uh, so I have to treat it kind of like a camera body as well. So and that all has to uh, uh, I have to carry all that stuff including um, collection gear uh, and um, So last when was that? Oh, it's over a year ago I looked around for for a new backpack for that and uh, found that people really love these f-stop bags so I just tried um, tried one out and uh, Turned out to be excellent for my needs and I'm gonna show you uh, What's so cool about this backpack? All right so this is the backpack. It's the 37 liter Loka model, which uh, means it's good for a day trip with a lot of uh, gear packed in or uh, multiple days that are a bit lighter. And um, I'm not going to go into all the details of this thing because uh, you can easily find those on the internet, but uh, it has a like an almost ridiculous amount of, uh, of details in it that are all, you, uh, all designed with the photographer in mind. So it has uh, like these really nice... Um, and a water sealed zippers uh, up here. Uh, it's not completely waterproof the whole, so I wouldn't go swimming with it, but uh, it has lots of compartments that you can really trust to stay uh, dry. Um, then it has more belts and buckles and uh, gear loops and like in count. Uh, you can easily strap multiple tripods on this thing and uh, anything you would need really. It's, uh, it has an aluminum frame so it's very comfortable to carry and it's overall pretty light, the materials are top notch and uh, and anyway, so it's a uh, it's it's just incredibly well made. Um, uh, here the, the bottom is um, it's completely uh, waterproof so you can put that down in a puddle and they sell a separate rain cover that you can also fit in there easily. Um, okay, uh, yeah lots of lots of little details that are good not only for photo gear but also for uh, people like me who bring a bunch of other tech stuff into uh, the wilderness uh, to do science and uh, they need lots of little bags and, and things like that that are usually waterproof or at least well cushioned. Okay, but uh, the real deal with this backpack is on the other side. So around the padding for the back are these zippers which means you can flap that open just like this and this is uh, where you can easily get access to your gear uh, that is like kept safely and padded in this, uh, what they call an ICU. Um, I think it stands for internal camera unit. Uh, so this is a removable bag uh, where, you can, uh, where you can put your um, fragile gear in. It straps to the aluminum frame of the, of the backpack. And uh, the, the cool thing is that they sell a bunch of different sizes of these things. So uh, this uh, ICU is from my last trip, uh, which, which, I, uh, which, I'm, which I took less gear with me than I will this time. And I'll get a bigger one so I can fit this field spec in there as well. So they, they build ones that, are, that fill the complete backpack, basically. Uh, you'll see this here is a, uh, a water bladder. So this backpack is set up uh, for you to put that in so you can have this uh, threaded out with this tube threaded out through a hole uh, on the on the back side of the backpack and just have that easily accessible uh, Otherwise it doubles as a pouch for a laptop or for both if you're feeling really adventurous and uh, Yeah, that's uh, That's pretty much it a bunch of document pouches here as well and SD card slots 
Uh, so anyway, there are lots of these little details. What I also like about these ICUs is you can really easily quickly remove them with these uh, Velcro straps right here. And then you can use it just as, uh, as, a, as a nice place to keep your camera gear when you're not, uh, when you're not running around with it on the back. Or put it uh, under the seat in a carry-on uh, in the plane, I mean. And that is all, uh, maybe also a good, good thing about this backpack is that it just doesn't scream camera backpack. Uh, to to me or to anyone, so it's pretty inconspicuous in case you're you're worried about uh, theft in in places where you might be targeted if you have a big old uh, uh, low pro or Canon branded bag. All right, okay, let's uh, hand it over for a little discussion. Okay, guys, so what do you think of this bag? Do you have any questions? Yeah, uh, it's a, it seems like it's a pretty cool bag. Um... But I did notice that they, I went to their website and I noticed that they sell like a rain cover for the bag. So do you, tr so do you trust, I mean, do you think you need the rain cover or do you think the ba bag is good enough without it? I would say, so in my experience, uh, the bag is uh, pretty, well, it's rain resistant. So uh, it's, it's almost waterproof. There are some compartments that are definitely 100% waterproof. Uh, but if you're in, uh, say, in the rainforest where it's really pouring down for hours, then you definitely want the rain cover. It's not rated at all as being completely waterproof, if that answers your question. Yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. speaking about water, just so you know how I am a big fan also of the F-stop bags. I have myself have the Tilopa, just the one a bit bigger than this. But something I always wonder is it's not about the water coming from outside, but the water that you put inside. So do you trust of putting a bag full of water inside your, your, your bag with all your gears inside? Uh, yeah, uh, well, I've done it last year. So I had, uh, I had this water bladder in there when I was in, in the desert together with my camera gear. It completely depends on whether you trust your water bladder. Um, Where did you find it's, yours? It's gonna, um, uh, I think I use a platypus. Um, hmm. It's I don't on know, Amazon, it's fine. To find. Uh, no, I bought it like oh God. Where did I buy it? Like some uh, REI, I think. And um, it's uh, well, if you those things are pretty uh, tight. Uh, if it leaks out a little bit, I don't. I wouldn't be worried because the camera gear doesn't actually sit on the bottom of the backpack, but it's like strapped in slightly below. So if you have a tiny puddle in there, it's not gonna like sit, be. It's That's not right. gonna get your camera really wet. Um, but if you're really worried, you can always wrap it in a plastic bag. I mean, that, that water, sure, the water bladder, water. not the camera. So, yeah. but, and I think, yeah. of course, I think they even sell an accessory for that, too. I think they sell a pouch yeah. for, for the bladder, just in case, for people like David that are worried to death about getting their stuff wet. <laughs> I don't want to have my okay. Canon 5, 5D Mark III in the water. Yeah, yeah well. that would be sad. Uh, I did notice, Daniel, also, I think you didn't mention the price, so uh, this is the tough part I guess this is the part that hurts how much how much will, uh, okay. will it cost me Hopefully so not an arm and it a is uh, so they sell a range of those as David already mentioned so uh, the loca is in the middle of that range in terms of size uh, I think the smallest one costs about 200 uh, US dollars and the biggest one uh, 350 or so I think mine so the loca is around 280 and then you you gotta pay a little extra for those camera units so it is in hiking like hiking backpack territory. But totally worth it. Right, because the, the, this series that they call it the the mountain range, don't don't, don't they? This is like uh, bags specifically to take hiking and outdoors sort of stuff. Yep, it's correct. They do market it at uh, like outdoor photographers and so on, like extreme, like uh, lots of like snowboarding videos and so on in the in the ads. Anyway, at the end, right. what did you like about it? Because um, since you are super positive, is there something you I am like? super positive about it in general. Uh, one thing I just didn't anticipate, I don't think, it's probably not a fault of that backpack that would be with most backpacks that size, is that unless you are filling it up to a good degree, uh, it's going to be hard to strap anything heavy on it because if the backpack isn't uh, really full, then uh, you don't have anything to work against your packing straps when you strap a tripod on, uh, against it. So I, uh, when I originally bought it, I thought I would every once in a while use it for like a day trip or when I just go into a park or so. Um, it's not that practical for uh, carrying a tripod unless you have like uh, enough gear in there to fill it up. So then it becomes kind of floppy and the tripod slides Good off. Good excuse to get more gears. 
Yeah, yeah, I gotta fill up my backpack so I gotta buy one. All right. or, or buy the the smaller versions of it. Also, you know? yeah. yeah. I, I I mean yeah it yeah. seems like it's a great bag it makes two of you already have a f stop gear bag I think I have to join the club now all right of all right I think you should okay well that's it with uh, the backpack talk maybe we'll come back to that topic some other day who knows what CERN and Alberto have so um, on that note uh, thanks for watching comments Bye. film uh, tweet at Critter snap all right thanks. <laughs>